Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis. And today we're going to be heading back off from Scrap Zone Act 3, I believe it is. This is Scrap Brain Zone, I think so. Um, yeah, last time I kind of failed a lot. And this time I'm going to try to make up for that fact of failure, so here we go. And of course I have no greens to deal with. That's kind of crap. Oh, there's some rings. Okay, that's always good to have. Oh, but the dog! Oh, this is never good. This is never good. This is never good. I should have got that bubble of air when I saw it. No! Fuck. Ugh. Ugh, damn it, already died. Oh, well. Guess we're gonna have to poof back there because this game just does not like me. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't supposed to happen. I I did the buttons. Oh well, who cares? I wish I had to continue using this game, but this game is just too brutal to even continue with. It's just uh, I don't know. I want to you know do this series for you guys, but it's like games like this. I just don't want to even try to try to try. Wake up, you know, next minute, I'm doing this. Up, down, left, right. There. Thank you. It's just, It seriously is just like that. It's like, you know, I'm doing this because I want to. You know, what have you. I'm doing it just you know, for a series. And it, it really turns into kind of a war with the game. You know, it's like, it doesn't want me to win. It never does. These games don't ever want me to win. It's like, no, you must continue to do a Let's Play this for the rest of your life. Oh my god, I don't know about that. I mean, doing a Let's Play, but in general, is kind of, you know, a deal breaker here. For the rest of my life? That's crazy. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Not really. Well, this time we actually teleported to Scrap Brain Zone, so I guess everything's okay. Sorry, I'm a little bit itchy for some reason right now. I don't know, I get this kind of weird really heat itch. It's not even that hot. It's just a little bit warm in here, so... I mean, I just had the heater on, too, and... Maybe that's what's going on. And yeah, I just got done doing a few things, and... What have you, so... I sound like I'm not in the mood for... Whatever it is I'm not in the mood for, which is this game. That's funny. Now, originally, I heard that the, that Sonic was supposed to have some kind of, like, goggles or something to help him breathe underwater or whatever. And, you know, like, it was like a design. It was more, uh... What are they called? What's that word? It's not kosher. I, I don't know. I don't know what that word is. Cosmetic. Cosmetic, that's right, yeah. The word's cosmetic. It's supposed to be like that, but it actually would help you breathe underwater or something like that. Or that be a swim or whatever it was. I don't care. You know, Sega did what Sega did, I guess. Which is this. I mean, this. This game. This hell of a game! Okay. I really like this game, though. I, I, I don't know if I admitted that enough. Okay. Weird. But this actually is one of my favorite Sonic games. Mainly because of what it has done to me for so long. It's put me in the state of, like, I have to beat it. I don't know what to call that. But it's like, it's a need, you know, it's not a want, it's a need to beat this game. That's what kind of it put me into. It's like, I need to finish this. I don't really have to finish this, you know, Let's Play, per se. I'm just saying, like, this game in general is like a life burden for me. Yeah. I think it's time I show this game who the real boss is. Wait, when did those spikes get there? I was not paying attention. No, I was not. Mm. Wait a minute, aren't we just like... Aren't we just like here? Basically. I have a funny thing about those guys is they only go like one way. Which has kind of been a running joke. For a while. Ah, some people made jokes about it, so... That I've seen. No! I don't go that way. Go this way. 
Oh god. Oh, son of a bitch. This is what happens, Sonic. This is what happens. There just happens to be a no bubble. I hate it when it does that, though. It's like, oh, guess what? There's a bubble up here, but there's not going to be a bubble inside. It tends to be how this game is. One minute you think, oh, I got a breath of fresh air right here. Nope. Chuck Testa. I will do anything for a Give me some air. I gotta take it before I go. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, man. <laughs> I remember I saw something like that where it was, uh... Sonic was, I think, in Labyrinth Zone or whatever. And he was trying to get himself some air. And he got to the, you know, the bubble, but it would not come up for like five seconds. And all of a sudden, it's like banging his head on the ground trying to get it to come up. And uh, he dies in the next second. Boop. Comes right up. <laughs> I know they're timed and what have you. So. Excuse me, what are we supposed to oh. We're supposed to go that way. I mean, we go that way. Of course. <clears throat> if I would have known that there was a frickin'. Oh. I'm going up. I'm going up. Wait, I'm just going up to the top. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, it's the final. Okay. Woo! We're at the final zone now. The thing about the final zone that sucks is you have to do it with no rings. Go oh, far! Wow! I'm happy. Are you satisfied, Eggman? Now, I've only seen this part. I've never really... Oh, bitch! Never really played this part myself. So I don't really know what could possibly end up happening. I guess if I stand over here, he can't really do anything, can he? I can figure out where he's gonna be at. And then again, there might be one that could block me off. Uh, take that, Eggman. Take that, Eggman. Oh, man. oh my god. Oh my god, guys, it's actually happening. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Eggman just had it. It could happen. God damn it. <laughs> of course. It's like, oh, you know what? Oh, you. Oh. He did that twice. That's not fair, he did that twice. He did the top one twice. I saw it happen. Oh my god, again? Like, what the hell is wrong with this game? I will beat this game. I will beat this game. I promise you that. I will do everything in my power to beat this goddamn game. And I'm not gonna go back through it legitly just to do it. I'm gonna do my cheat code and win. Even Sega knows how ridiculous it can be because you know what they they put a they, they put a menu in the game to select a level from some hardcore stuff. Now I could cheat and get all the chaos emeralds, but yeah. what's the point? Like I said, I just don't. Care. <sighs> How do you... How do you people do this so damn well? What the hell? There are two right there! Close together! <sighs> this is not... It's not fair, Eggman! And you know that! Sorry I'm so yelly right now. It's not like I'm supposed to know. Really? You're gonna go over on that side instead? Ooh, ass hat. Okay, by the time he actually got over there, I missed. Thank you. Being so nice. 
was gonna say, where's Tails at? But I forgot that, uh... There's one. There. I'm getting him Tails help me fight him. That's what I always used to do. I always used to put Tails on because, you know, he can help you fight. Heavy. And it's like, oh, okay, he's good for it. But in all reality, he really kind of is. <laughs> Tails is honestly just there to be Tails. The other thing about Eggman is I've known Eggman long enough to kind of respect him as, like, a Cortex to me. Fucking what?! I didn't even hit that! Come on, I was getting so close to winning. I was gonna talk good about you, Eggman, until you fucked me up. Sorry for my uh, bad words, but I'm so mad right now, I can't stand this game. I told you guys, you know, I usually tend to get a little bad with things like this happen. <laughs> I was gonna give him some credit, too, for what he does, but you know what? He's an asshole, so no. No credit for you, Eggman. I just say, I grew up more with Cortex, because I played Crash Bandicoot all the time. <clears throat> oh, God. You know, I always felt like, uh, Cortex was a good villain, and what have you. You know, and that really kind of turned into a great thing. Now, what games need to do is they need to keep their villains, rather than just... Like, for instance, like, games that are, like, shooting up, and what have you. It's like... Really right now? What the fuck? Okay, I put in the code and you still don't even work. That's just douchey. That is so douchey. But seriously, like games like like shoot, you know, or like shoot 'em ups or whatever. You go to this big place, you shoot this guy, he's dead, he's never coming back. He's not an iconic villain anymore. He's only there for that one game. Now, I guess you could take this for instance. But one of my favorite bosses was Lazarevich from Uncharted 2, and then he dies. You know. No spoilers, I guess. Who cares? I've been out for like how long now? Five years? So. We should really give a crap. What'd I do with it? But honestly, that's what happens, you know? It's like, oh, you know, you like this, you know, kind of character. I mean, there are some villains that, you know, I kind of really like. Here's another one. Um, I, uh, Spire of the Dragon was my favorite childhood game, at least. I've always loved Spire of the Dragon. And I will defend the hell out of that game if I have to. Uh, until it took a turn for the worse. And it's, you know, whatever that game is. Um, Nasty North, for example. I really, really loved Nasty North. I thought his boss fight was very, very inclusive. I guess, I don't know what to say about that. It just was, it was so nice touch to the game. I mean, yeah, it was stupid. Yeah, he was easy to defeat, but it meant something to me, you know? It meant, like, the end of the game, and then I could finally be finished with that game. And that's really what it was. That's really what it all was. And then after you beat Nasty Newark, you know, you go... 100%, you know, and you feel good about yourself because you're just 100% Spider the Dragon and what have you. But growing up as a kid, I never could 100% that game for some reason because I was just so bad at games. Oh, I was bad. Like, I would actually restart my level for some reason thinking I could beat the game. Like, for instance, like on Digimon World, I always restart my level just because, you know, I thought, oh, I, I got the wrong Digimon, I gotta go restore it. It's like, don't restart, dumbass. Just go back and, you know, do with what you have. Fix your problem. Fix your issue your way. Not restarting. Like, whenever I got, like, Gilmon or something at the beginning, and you know, I show my nerd side here. Whenever I get, like, a Digimon I didn't want, it's like, oh, I want my Agumon, I gotta go back and restart. 
I don't know what infused me with Agumon, but I was like a huge Agumon fan. Oh my god! Yes. Yes, you fat piece of shit. Get back here. I will defeat you, Eggman. Oh. Oh, piss. It's not over yet, is it? Is it? Wait. Is it over yet? I can't tell. Is there happy music going on? Because that's probably a good sign. Oh. It is. It is over. It is over. Alright. You know my honest opinion about this game? You really want my honest opinion? Fuck you, Sonic!